Hi, this is Rich Ross of Evercore ISI. Today we're going to take a look at the chart of Goldman Sachs as a proxy for the disappointing action in banks' financials and the pullback in yields and reflation more broadly. Let's go to the chart and I'll show you exactly what we see here. So. Of course, since October and really since the election, you see this phenomenal surge in Goldman Sachs where the stock gains 60 percent from the October lows and almost 50 percent in the wake of the election. Now we've given back 18 percent off the top, so roughly a one third retracement of that entire move. Now, importantly, we are sitting at critical support here at that 200 day moving average, just like those 10 year yields. We've held that 200 day goal going back here till last summer. So optically, very important that we test and hold these levels. For the time being, that's exactly what we're doing. And I actually think that with the stock oversold and sitting on key support, along with those 10-year yields, that this is an interesting opportunity to enter the stock on the long side with a close protective stop around yesterday's lows near 210. So once again, we're a buyer of Goldman Sachs here for a trade on the 18% pullback and oversold conditions whilst the stock sitting atop key support at that 200-day moving average. For CNBC, I'm Evercore ISI's Rich Ross. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.